Welcome back, adventurers. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining in. We have almost made it to the destination on this trip. Oh, we are now down in Hayhira, Georgia. And made pretty decent time, except for the time I stopped over in Unadilla to get a snack and a drink. Oh, so now we're hammering down in the dark towards Tehara. It's not dark, it's, it's daylight, full daylight, guys. But we're almost there. Like I said, it's been a pretty good ride coming down. A few spots where the traffic got a little thick. Of course, you know I love that. Oh. And I'm just now, for the first time, getting to see the damage down through here. Move this camera up a bit so y'all can see a bit better. I mean, it's a 360. I don't think you can really not see good, but you get what I'm saying. Oh. I can almost remember my first time. Let me close this visor so y'all don't get blown out by the wind noise. I can almost remember my first time coming through this town. I had no idea. Is that a fucking scooter trike? What's up, dude? <laughs> Goddamn scooter trike. Y'all shit. See that shit. That's to untangle my mic cord here. I've seen a lot of weird shit in my life, but a scooter trike has never been one of those things. That's pretty cool. Oh. This town has uh, decorated for the season. <laughs> I love Halloween. It's to me, uh, it's a commercial holiday, but it's not about getting anything or giving anything. It's about dressing up, looking the part, having fun, and then passing out candy to folks. That's what Halloween's about. Hey there, little buddy. You might want to slow down just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then you might be okay. <laughs> I, mean, I remember my first time driving, riding a bike down through here. I was like, where the hell am I? It's a pretty little town, though. Pretty little town. Nice little ride down here. Nice little ride through it. Pine trees. I uh, take back my previous statement. Pine trees apparently down here were pretty large on the oh, my music keeps stopping. I think somebody's trying to call me. It's a shame. I don't usually answer my phone. Oh. They are doing a pretty decent job of getting all this cleaned up though. I can't say anything bad. A lot of the stuff is already chopped up, sitting to the side for the other crews to come through and scoop it up. What I'm really interested to see is the orchards further down the road. They've got pecan orchards and I think peach orchards. I'm not real sure what all they have, but I know pecan orchards. There's a lot of pecan trees down here. I'm interested to see how. Let's go ahead and turn this piece down. It's starting to bug the hell out of me with this pausing. Uh, I'm really interested to see how it turned out, judging by what I'm seeing from these much thinner, thicker uh, pine trees. Thinner as in not as bushy, and thicker as in real, real thick, diameter wise. They're pretty thick trees. So I imagine these pecan trees down here are going to be pretty devastated. I know last time there was a major hurricane that came through this area, it was pretty tore up. What's up, guys? I think the first one got a wave out, but I don't know if the second one saw it meantime. Wow. Like I said, these folks down here do a good job of getting stuff cleaned up in a hurry. Oh, let's stretch these legs out just a bit. And I know they were expanding uh, the orchard on the right 
closer to our, four, our, uh, our stop sign that we're going to, they were expanding it further towards town this way. So I wonder how many of those are actually still standing. It's kind of grim to me when I think of it like some of these trees have been growing for, for years and years and years, decades, right? And one storm comes through, just one, and it's gone. Everything that tree would be giving life, gone. Now, of course, throughout all those years, it has spread its fruit, right? It has served a purpose, and even in its destruction, it's going to serve a purpose, whether it's uh, wood chips, wood mulch, firewood, or just compost for insects and other critters to make homes out of. It has a second life. As they said to Lion King, the circle of life. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to forgive me as I'm spending a lot of my energy looking around, taking in the scenes. And I'm not trying to show uh, the, the devastation because clearly I'm coming down here way after the initial devastation. I don't want to show people on their bad day. Or I don't want to show these people on their bad day. Let's let's make sure I clear the road there. I've always been amazed by storms. Especially in my childhood, I remember sitting on our front porch and a thunderstorm or something would come rolling through and I'd, I'd take my dinner out on the front porch and just sit there and watch in one of mom's granny's, great granny's old rocking chairs. A lot of breaks. What are we doing here guys? What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, he just pulled over for some reason. No judgment there, guy. Anyway, I would sit on the front porch, take my dinner, and sit in one of the rocking chairs and just watch the lightning and the, the rain and what I could see of the trees blowing from the, the porch light. And this always amazed me. I can't explain it. Uh, I just really liked it. Love watching it. And still do. Now, it terrifies my Mala Mexicana, or Brainy Chameleon as YouTube is, uh, is she, uh, as she is better known. Let's get English words direct, straight, right. Oh, more breaks, more breaks, more breaks. What we got going on now? That van apparently was turning. turning around <laughs> okay not surprised there see over here on the left is one of the orchards now this is part of the sheriff's boys camp I think if I remember correctly um, if I remember correctly the sign will be up here on the left shortly but this is one of the orchards I was talking about and as far as trees down there's not a lot yeah, sheriff's signs now, though. There's a lot of damage to the limbs of them. And they're burning some of their breakage. Debris in the road. Watch out there. Oh, they missed it. All right. I really should have stopped and picked that up, but with them behind me, I did not want to risk it for a biscuit. Biscuit soup sound good though. You know what I'm saying? Like some biscuits and gravy. Mm -hmm. With some chopped up steak bites and sausage patties. Buddy, buddy, buddies. Sausage and biscuits, gravy, and steak bites. Hell yeah, that's what we should do. Uh, but I'm not the chef this weekend. I am not the chef. 
I cooked last night for me and me alone. Well, me and Siete. You know I have to give the the one dog who doesn't like spending time with the other dogs her own special treats. Last night was a burger night because Brandy left me to my own devices. So I lurked into the kitchen and made burgers. I was out of bacon, so I couldn't make any bacon therapy. Therapy bacon? Whichever way I eat, whichever way you want to put it. Let me pull this thing down, guys. Hang on. Might get loud for a second. Oh, that's a little bit better if my net gator has been pulling on my chin. So when I speak, it kind of pulls at my goatee a little bit. And it was making hard to get my words out. Almost like having a tied tongue. Oh yeah, they've had a couple of these pecan trees. Pecan trees. As some of you mo or uh, civilized fucks may know them. Pecan trees. That's not too bad. I mean, all things considered. How flat open this area is. Not bad at all. Oh, okay. Well, they got it pretty bad. Man, all their frontage got wiped out. No kidding, lock trucks hitting the road. It's a neat little tractor. They got a tractor like that, and uh. Just outside McIntyre. Oh, here you go, folks. Pine trees snapped in half. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Like I was saying earlier, Mala Mexicana, she doesn't like storms. And I've got to pay a little bit more attention to her pre-storm anxiety. Yikes. Because she'll get very anxious and start watching the weather and watching the weather and talking about the weather and watching the weather. And I just want to sit there and literally watch it, not watch the updates. And she wants to get someplace safe, make sure no tornadoes or nothing's coming right at the house. And I've got to do a better job of paying attention to that and coaching her through the storm. I used to be a lot better, but I guess as I've gotten older, I've gotten more used to how she reacts and I'm not helping her through it as much as I should be. So I need to step up my game in that department. But this is the stuff she's afraid of. She's afraid of trees like this that you may have looked at for years falling on the house. And being that we have a brick house, because I love brick houses, I am not as worried about it as she is with her experience with mobile homes and the, the terror that trailers have to go through when it comes with storms like this. But I'm going to have to do something for her, show her that, you know, I've, I've got us, we're covered, we're protected. Just relax and weather through it. I know she was really worried about David and Cindy down at Forgotten Angels in Tampa. I was worried about them as well, to the point where I actually call David. I don't call folks. I only call very specific people, and I only answer the phone from even fewer people than that. So... Orange trees, that's what they are. Orange or lemon trees. They didn't do too bad. They don't look good, but they didn't do too bad. But I was actually worried enough to call David, to extend out to David, you know, the offer of the mound, which is what I think I want to call the, the home of, this turned into a four-way stop? Wow. That's actually pretty good. This was a really bad intersection for the longest. But now it's a four-way stop. Makes it a little bit safer. Makes it a little bit safer. Oh.
Yeah, this is pretty bad. But I reached out to David and said, David, my home's available to you and yours. My property is available to you and yours. All you gotta do is tell me you need it and tell me you're coming. And we got you, we'll be ready for you, have a meal cooked. And that's mainly what I was going through getting ready for the for Milton to come up was being ready for anyone in the Shade Tree Army or in the umbrella of Forgotten Angels to have a refuge to come to in case they needed it. Especially Sick Bastard. Uh, I don't know if you all know what Sick has been going through, what he's facing. Um, but Sick's my boy. I had to make sure Sick was looked out for. So I told him, pack up his bikes, get his ass up here to my house. Maybe that fuck was like, no nah, man, we're good. We're, we're gonna hang out here. Like, okay, you fucking psychopath. I got you. But I got you folks. If you ever need it, I'm here. If you ever need me. When the in-laws know I'm here. Oh, all right, adventurers. I'm gonna cut this one off. I'm at the in-laws. Time to relax. I had a great time riding down here. I'm sorry I didn't record the whole time, but let's be honest. It's I-75. It can't be too exciting, right? All right, adventurers. I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all take care. And if you will, go support my friends. That is the Forgotten Angels down in Tampa. I just talked about them, right? Go show them some love. Show them some support. They are down there this weekend trying their best to make sure everything's ready for the camp out coming up at the end of the month. Uh, this is going to be less like a camp out and more like a work camp. So, oh, oh. If you can show them some love show them some support and also if you're in the market for a fur baby of the k9 variety hit up possum southern rescue out of bonaire one robin slash macon georgia uh, they foster out and adopt out all sorts of little pups old pups uh, handicapped pups special need pups 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 and pups Show them some love, guys. Buy them a bag of dog food. Adopt a doggy or two. Foster if you can. Or buy a dog a bone. <sighs> That's enough. I'm going to let y'all go. Take care, y'all.